Welcome to our ninth episode of Keeping It Real Estate. I'm your host, Milana. I've been a San Francisco Bay Area real estate broker for over 20 years. I'm so excited to share my expertise with you to help you buy, sell, and invest successfully in today's market. So today's topic is what is the number one mistake sellers make that make them land in the courtroom? With the market being so crazy as it is, it's a risky time for both buyers and sellers. Most don't realize that, but I'll explain why. Due to the market conditions of fast selling properties, multiple offers, and non-contingent offers, you know what I'm talking about, buyers are waiving their right to inspect just to be competitive. This means that buyers are relying on the disclosures provided by the seller and their hired inspectors and assuming that full disclosure has been made. But what does full disclosure mean? We'll dive into that in a sec. Sellers, on the other hand, feel they did their job when they hired inspectors and filled out the limited questions on the required transfer disclosure form and the seller's supplemental disclosures. However, it's simply not that simple and there's no better way to say it. So here it is. Sellers, avoid liability. Avoid the courtroom. Don't be at risk in failing to disclose. I can't say this enough. Disclose, disclose, disclose. Spill the beans. Say it all, expunge yourself of liability. It's not just about what doesn't work, it's about whatever happened in the past that became an issue, even if you fixed it. If there's anything that happened in the past, which there always is, describe it. Let buyers know what it was, how you remedied it, or if you decided to leave it alone. Prepare an addendum to the transfer disclosure statement with your list of additional disclosures with anything that could affect the value of the property or any history of what occurred to the property. If you're questioning whether or not to write something, just do it. Disclose, disclose, disclose. Don't worry about affecting the property value. Just disclose it. Don't worry if you think buyers will be scared, but it really wasn't a big deal. Disclose it. When in doubt, disclose it. Remember, if you're working with an experienced real estate agent, you're pricing your home and the price is reflective of the condition. Therefore, the more you disclose, the better. Hopefully you heard my message loud and clear. Sellers disclose, buyers ask questions, and if you can, keep someone on your team that's knowledgeable that can visit properties with you or at least review the disclosures with you. So. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Keeping It Real Estate. You can find all of the episodes on my IGTV. If you've got some real estate goals in mind, let's do a consultation. If this was helpful for you, like, comment, share. I would love to hear from you. Make sure to drop a comment below with what you want to hear about. I'll see you right here next week.